Don't have a lot of money but want to add some comic books to your collection? Well, here's five more books that you can get under $100 each. You probably could get all five for under 100 Stay tuned. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and comic book collectors all around the world. My name is Chris. This is my channel, We Love Comics. And I have another episode of five comic books that are potential books that you could get that you can absolutely get for under $100. So if people on a budget or just don't want to spend a lot of money on comic books or try and get them before they become popular, I do this uh, regular at least a week or every other week. So let's get into the five. Now, obviously, there's going to be more of these, so there's going to be plenty of books I have not shown yet. Um, if you want to suggest one in the comment section, you are more than welcome to. So first comic we're going to get into... And this is a fairly inexpensive book. Let me close in a little bit. This is Logan's Run, issue number six. Um, I, and I write down the information here. I paid $13 and about 62 cents for this book, but I bought it a couple of years ago. Uh, this is the first Thanos solo story. So with the whole Avengers movie coming and gone and part two coming next year, uh, Thanos has been um, hotter than ever. I mean, he was an amazing villain and probably one of the best villains that the Marvel comic movies have had. So this is his first solo story. Not many people know that. I mean, especially newer people. So this book, it probably rose a little bit since the Avengers movie. But you can easily get this book under $30. And uh, like I said, I showed, I bought this one for about 13 And this is at least in very fine condition. So easily obtainable. All right, next up, this is a book I used to talk about all the time, and for some reason, all three grading companies do not mention what is so special about this book. Now, this is Iron Fist issue number 13. If you know anything about Iron Fist, Iron Fist number 14 is the first appearance of Sabretooth. Well, this actually is the first cameo appearance of Sabretooth. Now, the reason I don't think they mention it is the fact that it's the very last panel, they don't say his name, and he's shadowed out. But at the bottom of it, it says, stay tuned next issue for a, a very special first appearance. Something along those lines. In other words, they're telling you that this shaded character is going to be featured in the very next comic, which is Iron Fist 14. So that is actually the first cameo of Sabretooth. Now, some people will say, well, how can that be a cameo if you don't see him? Well, if you ever look up the first appearance of Mary Jane, for example, her first two cameos, they don't show her either. So they have done that in the past, where a character that you have not even seen or not even named can still be considered a cameo. So this one is extremely affordable. I bought this... Uh, I didn't pay 25 I know I paid under $20 because I have several of these. But this is never mentioned, and this is absolutely a book, especially if you cannot afford his first appearance. This is the next best thing. So grab this one. You could probably get this for under $25 easily. And I'm talking, again, very fine grade. Next up, this is a um, book that decreased a little bit. Because she already made an appearance in a TV show, and that's usually the best time to get them. You don't really want to buy them when they're hot, because you're going to spend a lot more money. Uh, this is Firestorm, the Nuclear Man, issue number three. And this is the first appearance of Killer Frost. I mean, you're not talking an A-list character, but one that, like I said, has been on the TV shows before, and is something that can be affordable. I mean, who knows where it'll go, but... It's still not bad to get a first appearance. I bought this a couple years ago, paid $22.98. And again, you could see this is in at least very fine to near mint condition. You could get this book easily for $25 or less. So another book you might want to consider. Okay, two more to go. 
Now, if you don't want to get the cameo appearance of Sabretooth and you can't afford the first appearance of Sabretooth, well, here's the next best thing if you are a Sabretooth fan like me. This is Power Man and Iron Fist, issue number 66. And this is the second appearance of Sabretooth. So um, if you're one of those people who can't afford you know, the first appearance and you want to try and get the second appearance, which is always the next best thing, uh, many people may not know that this book is Sabretooth's second appearance. So again, this is an easy book to acquire. I paid at the time $15.25. Again, easily under $25 for very fine. Fine, very fine. I mean, you don't need a 9.8 because if you do, well, you'll drop the comic, but a 9.8 is going to cost you about a buck fifty somewhere around there. Always look for deals. All right, last but not least, because a couple of people said they want some DC, so I'm adding an additional DC book. This, to me, is almost a no-brainer. Uh, this is the Omega Men issue number three, which is the first appearance of Lobo. Now, there have been rumors going around that Lobo's going to get his own movie. At this point, when it comes to the DC Cinematic Universe, um, nothing is etched in stone until it's made, so be careful about that. But this is still a popular character. I mean, I remember, to me, the artist that drew Lobo better than anybody is Simon Bisley, or Bisley, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but you'd have to see his artwork. This was back in the 80s slash 90s. It, it was just very out of the ordinary kind of artwork, but beautiful to look at, and it fit this character perfectly. So this book is probably the most expensive one out of these. Um, let me see what I paid for it back in the day. I paid $15.34 for this book. Um, it's probably going to be higher than that. You're probably talking about the 35 to maybe $50 range in a higher grade. But you could still find these all day under 30 So unless you need a 9.8, you could probably find this book between $25 and $35 for, like, mid-grade. And if he ends up in a movie... You know, that's just going to be a, a book that's going to continue to skyrocket. So, of course, these are all, when it comes to speculation, there are no guarantees. And even if they have, like this, for example, talked about a movie, unless it happens, anything can change. So always keep that in mind. If you love collecting comics, it should not matter in the long run whether they go up or down. I mean, it's always nice to know your comics are more valuable, but it's not. it shouldn't be the end of the world if they are.